Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Glam. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. In today's video, I'm going to lean into spring, even though it's snowing outside. I'm going to share with you some Kirkland-inspired DIYs, plus an awesome meal idea, my savory salmon bowl. So let's get started. In this DIY, I'm going to take this and I'm going to change, I'm going to keep the wood natural, but I am going to change this sign here from Glad You're Here to Live Life in Full Bloom. I created this printable online and I will link the PDF down below in the description box if you'd like to download it for yourself. I'm going to be using white acrylic paint to paint over the current sign that's here. I don't want to pop it out, I just want to paint it. And I'm going to use my painter's tape to paint off the frame because as I said, I want to keep this a natural wood. Um, so I'm going to be going with a natural wood and a black and white theme. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on your notification bell to all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I would also appreciate if you leave me a comment. And make sure you hit that like button because it helps my channel to grow here on YouTube. Okay, so it's all dry now. Um, I did only put one coat. I had considered putting two coats, but I decided against it uh, because I didn't think it was necessary. I am going to be covering this. Right now, it's going to be the sign, my, my PDF. Again, the PDF is down in the description box if you'd like to download it. Um, this particular PDF, I'm going to be placing on here today, but I'm also going to be changing this out several times during the year. So um, I figured what was the point in adding a second coat if I'm just going to be changing out the print seasonally oh I love that I think that is so cute live life in full bloom plant grow and bloom I love that <laughs> and there you go all done my first sign of spring So in this DIY, I'm gonna make a riser. I will be using a, a palette that I got from Target. I will also be adding feet to the bottom of this palette uh, to make it a riser. And I got these feet from Lowe's. And I'm gonna use hot glue to uh, adhere it because I do not want it to be permanent. This is something that I will be using in my kitchen um, temporarily. And I may want to take these feet off and use them in another project. And that's fine. I, I, I don't have a problem with you being able to see this on the top because, again, it's going to be a riser and I'm going to set things on top of it. So you really won't see it from this angle as much as you'll be seeing it like this. And I want to keep the feet natural because, as I said, I'm going with a natural wood and a white and black because that color combination, I think, will uh, pop in my kitchen. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on all things home, like seasonal home decor, high-end DIYs, cleaning and organizational videos, shopping hauls, food, and travel too. As I said, all things home. Hey guys, let's connect on social media, on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out, and make sure you follow. I got this vase from Target and I love the way that it looked. Uh, it has a really farmhouse rustic look to it, uh, which is not the decor in my home, but I really love the way that the uh, vase looked. I had originally considered painting this with a chalk paint and making it more of a gray or even like a um, blush pink. I, but I decided that I like the way that it looked and it goes with the color combination that I'm doing today. So uh, yeah. So I'm just going to add this piece of jute to the top.
I believe I got this sunflower from Hobby Lobby. I just think that's really cute. And how that brown inside the, the green sunflower matches the jute. I'm gonna take a piece of cod and a piece of salmon and I'm gonna season it with lemon pepper. And I'm also gonna take a piece of salmon and a piece of cod and put teriyaki sauce on it. And that's the teriyaki salmon. This looks so good. Mmm, mmm, that is so fresh, and it is so good, and if you love lemon, oh my goodness, it is so fresh, it is so good, mmm, yum. for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So hit that like button too. At the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one to see more home decor and DIYs by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!